What's up, everybody? For Neville World here today to do my review of Bleach Chapter 485. And I gotta say, this was probably one of the best chapters Kubo has written, and I don't even know how long this chapter was that good. Another great one. It seems as though Kubo ain't playing around with this arc. He is not playing around, and, you know, regardless of everything that's been happening in the media with the anime and everything, Kubo's not playing around this time around with the, uh, you know, arc. This chapter was awesome. A lot of stuff went down. So, first of all, this, um, Empire King, he is ruthless. He is ruthless. Like, Wow, what he did in this chapter, basically he has the dude begging, and I forget his name, it was Luger or something like that. He had dude begging, he was like, oh, you're going to lay on the ground? He's like, no, sir, I'm going to get on my knees. And I was just like, whoa, this villain is something not to be played with. He is merciless, he does not care. I really like that about this villain so far. So far this villain is just like, wow, everything he's doing, the planning, the plotting is just Everything that this villain is doing is just to the T. And then, Yvonne, the dude that went up against Ichigo, if I'm correct, he was just slaughtered. And then they were like, hey, don't you need more um, a wrong cards and stuff like that? He's like, I get as much wrong cards as I want. Wow, this guy. Wow, he's just... This is the villain right here, people. This is gonna go down. Mark my words, Bleach Chapter 485. This guy, this Empire King, is going to go down as one of the greatest villains in Bleach. Also in the chapter, we got Ichigo arrives back finally. Uh, got a little bit of comedy going on, little jokes here and there. Chad, um, Uriu, a bunch of little different things. Ichigo's hungry, you know, a little funny stuff like that. Not too much to go crazy in the chapter, you know, as far as that goes. But there was a lot of other cool stuff um, and a lot of sad stuff as well. Uh, you know, people saying there's no deaths in Bleach. Sasakibe died. Sasakibe died. I'm like, oh, man. Uh, they arrived to tell Yuki basically has to go back. He gets a phone call. Not that they arrived. He gets a phone call. He has to go back to uh, Soul Society. And it seems as though they always want to keep Ichigo at, at arm's length just because he's a substitute. And I, that's one thing I don't really like about that. Like, you know, substitute Shinigami, he's still a Shinigami. Give him the info. And, like, they called because they wanted Ichigo to hear it. But why didn't they just call and say, yo, Ichigo, this is going down? Since Ichigo is, you know, he's so damn strong fill him in on exactly all the intel, you know? So, um, but Ichigo heard everything pretty much that went down in the past couple chapters, you know, more or less, about the people invading, Sasuke is dead, they, uh, Yuki went back for the funeral, um, we got a couple more stuff even happened, we got Nell, I I'm just, like, blown away, because Kubo really went in with this chapter, Kubo was not playing, you know, we got Nell shows up, flying out of the sky, falling on Ichigo, and then, probably one of the most craziest parts is, Hueca Moon, though, was already taken over by the Empire King. Wow. Wow. Again, another reason why this villain is impacting. It's just like, he's done so much already. He already got Hueca Moon, though, and he's like, in five days, we're invading. Um, you know, uh, and then the biggest, another big part, like, this is, yeah, definitely, um, it's looking like this is going to be the chapter of the week. You know, I never do anything like that, but this is definitely Bleach 485 is probably going to be the best chapter because I don't see any other way that they, they could top what Kubo did with this chapter. Holly Bell is tied up and captured by the Empire King, and probably he could he's he has her probably because she don't want to listen to him and whatnot, but Holly Bell is tied up and captured. Well, obviously he got to be strong because, you know, he got Holly Bell. He conquered Hueca Moon, though. I'm blown away, like... Thumbs up for Kubo. Kubo went in. He is not playing. He threw in so much in this chapter. This is going to go down as one of the best chapters. Hopefully the arc just continues to keep on getting better and better because so far the Thousand Year Blood War is like on an amazing pace. I am just like, Kubo, you are definitely showing people that, okay, you were not, people that were not satisfied with the last arc, you know, the uh, whole Genjo, Tsukishima, all the full ring stuff, fine. This arc, he's not playing. Amazing chapter. Amazing chapter. Awesome stuff. Can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Hopefully, Kubo keeps on going and going because this chapter, oh my gosh, my mind is blown, people. Let me know what you thought of it. Favorite moment? Was it Holly Bell, Nell, uh, Sasakibe's death, um, Hueca Mundo being conquered, uh, Yvonne getting slaughtered, this dude groveling at the Empire King's feet. So much amazingness. Let me know your favorite moment. Comment section below. Video response. It's going down, people.
Bleach 485. Amazing. I'm for Neverworld. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for Kubo being a beast rider for this chapter. I'm for Neverworld. Have an awesome one, people.